I've got a map of last year's sunflowers. Three three pallets of plasterboard, a fair whack of the stuff. It's got a wee party of cows for me this morning. Morning Holly! There we are, we can we? What a bee! That's all already done. Are you bad this? Yeah, we're stuck. Good morning. Look at all the calves. Happy as Larry. Some in here too. Hey beasties. Morning goods. Just put this tractor down and spray it into the big shed out of the road because it's not getting used for a few days. So as of last night, that's basically everything caught up with. Um, all the fat's done, all the spraying's caught up with. Now just catching up with other bits and bobs, we need to shift some feed um, along to yard three. There's a wee lorry coming for straw today. There's a delivery of pots to be made. Uh, there's just bits and bobs now. Sunflowers having a call today with RTKF Net. See what they can help us with with our plan. I spoke to them a while back and they were going to have a think. Easy does it. Don't want to hit the new trailer and the sprayer. That would be a shocker. Ugh, my sweet tractor's in the way. Keep going till you bounce off the wall. You're always further away than you think. I need to give that a run. Just shifting some bales about for this lorry coming. This bale's got a bit of drainage pipe in it. There we go. Save the cattle jumping on it. Yeah, so we've got pots to deliver. Quite often we do big pots like filled with trees in them, but it's much easier to take them to a customer, fill the pots in there, because they're so much heavier when they're full. So we're just loading up compost and soil and pots on the back as well. Just tagging this wee calf, wee heifer. There you go, someone was after getting the delta named after a calf. There you go, tail it. We'll get this one tagged up. There we go. Happy calf, happy coo. There's one pot, better travelling upside down. Kev's away to load up with feed to take on the road to yard number three. Just getting them lined up with that hook. A vet medicine bag, that'll do the job. Just to stop them vibrating and cracking maybe. There you go. Right, we're loaded up, you'd think we were in a garden centre. We're going to wait until that lorry came to load it first and then head off, but it's not arrived yet so Kev's just going to hang him out here and wait for that lorry to come because he was going to be shifting feed along the road but he'll wait until that lorry comes and then get that done. There he goes, he's going to load up his trailer with feed first. <laughs> right, that's that job done. Just had a productive phone call with RTKF Net. Um, so they, they supply our signal for the tractors. We started that last year and for the sunflowers I've got some plans which I was hoping they'd be able to help with and basically it looks like they've got a system that's going to work for us so you'll see more of that coming up. I'm not going to give it away just yet. What a day! If anything we're needing some rain to be honest. Just just a night of gentle drizzle would be ideal. Right just shifting some cows and um, so these three are the ones got nicked late by Percy because we didn't take the bull out it was our fault but anyway they're going to calve quite late, so we're going to shift them into a wee field of grass, which is up that side of the farm. We're going to shift them into the grass. Here comes Dad in the livestock trailer. Dad's going to reverse up here. They're going to walk onto the trailer, no bother. Easy as that. Just need to get them off the trailer now, which is the easy bit normally. Right, here come the first lot. Put them into here so we can get the calves, put them to the race and dehorn them. We just use a paste early on, burns the wee nip off them, and then they don't grow horns that you have to then burn out with a big heat gun. We find it pretty easy doing it this way, so. The calves going onto a concrete for the first time. Jesus. One particular calf in there that I thought I liked, not anymore. This is what we're looking for, so we're going to check the horns on all these calves and then put them out to the grass. Right, we're just checking for horns, that one didn't have any. So this just burns the nip off the top of the horn, it means it doesn't, doesn't grow keeps them safe, keeps us safe. They don't need their horns anymore. They're not needing to protect themselves from anything.
Yeah, well, it should go out when it's in the sunlight. Yeah, it'll burn it, you know? Right, we'll keep, this, is a, this is a twin as well, so we need to keep that other one in. Yeah. This cow and that calf and the other calf's is twins there. They were going to be going out to the grass, but that calf's got a scabby snout, so I'm just going to keep an eye on her. Hey, calf, in you go. Come on. Right, a plunky there while oh, we check these cows out. <laughs> Right, there's another happy few. Tell you what, you missed a lot of shouting and swearing. That's all of them dehorned um, and we put out five more cows. Didn't want to overload the grass out there because it's still not ready for full boar cattle yet. Otherwise, they just poach it up. Quite a lot of Percy's calves, no horns, so must be a bit of fold in there. All the other cows that we bought in that weren't to Percy, they all had horns to do. Whereas Percy's maybe only 20% of them, if that 10% had buds to do. I don't see any reason why Percy's genes would have any form of like being pulled. Don't know why. Right, I've got a map of last year's sunflowers. There we go, that's how they looked last year. Um, they're gonna come fractionally further out. I'm just waiting to find out exactly where they're coming to. But roughly there's a gate there, they're gonna run roughly to there. We've lost a wee bit in here, which is where the tulips are there. So this wee strip in here, that's why I'm just coming out to measure exactly what we've got to play with this year. So if you can make that out, the oats that have just started kicking through, and that left streak there, uh, that's the left edge of the oats here, so that's where the sunflowers will start. So I'm just getting a gauge of where that is. What a night, look at the sky, not a cloud. Measurements acquired. Hey Doug. It's the next morning, so good morning. Just bringing in the trailer here to yard number three because we've got six, I think, store cattle that we're sending off to ABP. They'll end up in Asda. We've got a bit too many at the moment. Right, load number one, so there's five going in total, not six. So we'll get these three in and head back, load up two, and then we're gonna muck out the reeds as well. Right, I'm just in at the abattoir, so these three cattle are coming off here, they're Angus cattle. So they actually, they get a premium on the, on what you get paid. You get paid an extra five or 10 pence. I think it's only five pence now, because the beef price has gone up. Angus price hasn't followed as much. So five pence extra premium on Angus cattle when you're selling them to the likes of Asda. Just waiting to get unloaded, usually pretty quick. Three down, two to go. Job done. There's two more in, that's the last two in. Just dropped off those other two. Didn't get it on video, missed it. Home time. Right, we've just put a couple of cows and calves into this just paddock those. here. Wow, we had the trailer dirty. These five Angus, they're getting on already. They have a good weight in them now. 100 kilo at least, I would think. Just guiding a the lorry there. It's got a pile of plasterboard on it. Three, three pallets of plasterboard, a fair whack of the stuff. So he's gonna get in the shed and dump it in there, hopefully. Kev's mucked out this reed, you can see. Fresh bedding, just brought it down to a level again. It was getting quite high. It's just doing this side now, but I'm needing the forklift. I've nabbed the forklift from Kev, I'm needing it to load a lorry of oats with just a wee lorry, 18 tonne. The barley will be absolutely flying today. It's roasting hot, solid sunlight. It's the intensity of the sunlight, it's not necessarily the heat. Okay, yeah, you get more heat if it's more intense, but this, the, the plants are looking for intense sunlight, not necessarily temperature. You want the soil temperatures to be nice and warm, but for the leaves, they're just looking for intensity. Here's a lorry for getting loaded. He's just going to reverse into the shed because it's pretty windy outside and oats are pretty light, so the wind will just blow them all down the yard. 
can't be bothered with that. Especially when we've got all this space to play with. Here he comes. The wee six wheeler, eight wheeler. It's a tricky thing to load, there's four sections in it. Job done, lorry loaded, he's away. Um, yeah, it's just tricky those lorries. The bucket's so wide and the sections, they're not all uniform sections either. Um, so it's hard to get it bang on the same amount in each. Anyway, he's away, we only spilled a tiny wee bit. Must be a Friday, all the tradies have gone. Vanished. There's four vans here, 20 minutes ago. Gonna try and get some of these plasterboard sheets into the extension. I realise I better widen my forks before I split them all in half. They're not exactly solid things, so make the forks as wide as I can, spread the load a bit. That's a bit wider. I've got a plan. I'm gonna poke that section as far in that way as I can. I'll get the wee pallet forks with a pallet at that end and lift them up there. Then I'll get the wee Toyota fork lift, the electric one on that side, lift that up, pull this fork lift away, and then shimmy it in. No bother. Just like that. Just like that. Right, that's one end. This is a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a mission. This weighs an absolute ton. And now I just need the wee fork lift at this end. And grab this wee orange machine. I love this machine. Hold that there and break on. Right, that's that out of the road. Right, we're in. We're in like sin. Hopefully this comes out. <sighs> Attempt two. Oh, so close. Is that a bit? There we go. What now? Attempt 17. Oh, for f Come on, come on. Oh, yeah, beauty. That's the plasterboard sheets in. Uh, there's still two more pallet folds, but. So I'm not sure if they're wanting all of them in by Monday. That's when they're back again, Friday today, so we'll see what happens. There's a McLaren in the car park earlier. What would you rather, a McLaren or a GCB? I know what I'd pick. It's starting to take shape now. You see what it's going to look like in the end, a few windows. It's going to be sheeted the same as that, so it's all going to tie in. And there'll be a wall there as well. Here's the map. Tell me where you're watching from, exactly where you're watching from. And I'll put a pin on the map. If you've already told me, then your pin should be on here. All over. Had another calf been born. This was probably born about two hours ago now. And um, just got the cow in to give it a drink and it's been drinking, no bother. Jobs are good in. Creep feeder number two. So I'm going to put this into the reed, fill up my oats. you been there there we go now the cabs that are in here can have a munch of some oats won't be that long till they head along the road to yard number two so the field at yard number two that's getting fenced that's what they're going into there's a contractor coming on monday to sow new grass in it just undershow it and uh, because the grass that's there's pretty naff so there'll be enough there for 20 cows but if it's a proper good field it'll hold 40 cows so for next year so we're going to sow some new grass so that's happening on monday saturday today so then next week at some point, um, some of these cows and calves are going to head along the road there. Yeah. 